Goodbye to baggage. Hi, welcome to this week's video. We are dealing with the dreadful under eye bags, especially as we reach a certain age in our lives or if they happen to be genetic and run in the family. But there are some definite lifestyle changes to help you reduce under eye bags and dark circles, as well as some makeup application techniques that can really help to conceal. So that's what I want to address in this video is how to properly conceal under eye bags and dark circles. You reach out to me pretty frequently about that issue. It bugs you, it frustrates you. You're not ready to go to the surgical route. You're just looking for some tips and tricks. So I'm happy to share those with you. First of all, let's talk about some of the things that will definitely cause bags under the eyes. Alcohol and tobacco use break down collagen throughout the skin and the tissue, so you'll notice that loss of elasticity all over the face, including the under eye area. Alcohol use, same thing, it will dehydrate, and so it will really pronounce the bags under the eyes. So will sleep, either too much sleep, which can happen to me sometimes, especially if I'm laying flat in my bed. The longer you're in that position, the more of an opportunity there is for uh, fluid to pool underneath the eye area. Too little sleep Sleep, and then you're plagued with dark circles. Let's also talk about allergies and sinus problems. They can be a big contributor to under eye bags and puffiness. So can eating salty foods, by the way. You know, after having a night out at the Mexican restaurant with the margarita or maybe a lot of sushi with the soy sauce, you wake up and you're puffy too. And did you realize that not removing your makeup at night can also exacerbate the problem? It can irritate the skin, which can lead to fluid retention. So always remember to remove your makeup at night. And then of course, like I mentioned, there's just the good old fashioned aging process which causes the socket to lower, the fat to bulge and protrude in the under eye area, which really for the most part is what we're dealing with. So let's talk about some of the things that you can do to help reduce swelling in the under eye area. Of course, any kind of a cold compress will do, whether it's you know bags of frozen peas or you can take uh, cold spoons. I personally love my CO Cryo Drop. I featured this before. You take a little bit of the CO Energy Serum, pat it, rub it underneath the eyes, and then you use your CO Cryo Drop, and it's nice and cold because I leave mine in a little mini fridge in the bedroom. So not only am I getting the cold effect, but I'm also getting a massaging effect, which helps to remove the fluid as well. Some women also swear by using hemorrhoid cream under the eye. That's an old beauty pageant trick. Just be careful that the cream doesn't creep up and get into your eyes because then you will have red eyes and bags going on at the same time. And then caffeine is a really good way to treat. You could use caffeinated tea bags to place under your eyes or even serums that have caffeine in them to be able to reduce the swelling. Okay, so now that we've tackled what causes it and some of the things that we can do to treat it, let's really hone in on how to cover it. Today's tutorial is very basic. We're just targeting the under eye area. The first thing I'm going to do is start with my foundation. It's a NARS matte foundation, and I'm going to lightly cover the face. I will then sweep the remaining just gently under the eye area for a tiny, tiny bit of coverage to keep it the same color. I have two NARS concealers that I'm going to use. This is Light 3 Honey, and this one is Medium 1 Custard. The Light 3 Honey is a more peach color tone. Take a look. The peachier the tone, the better for concealing dark circles. So we're gonna tackle that first. I'm just going to apply a little bit with a brush, only here. from the tear duct straight down. That's as far as I'm going because that's where the circles generally lie, are right here. I always sweep a little excess concealer on my eyelid just to even out skin tone. Okay, so here's where things get interesting and where you have to be careful because 
A bag is a protrusion. It's either fluid or fat that's making a pocket in your eye that's sticking up. If you put a light concealer on that bag, you are just going to draw light to it and attention to it. So what we have to do is we have to lift around that bag. That's where the darkness lies. So I have, like I said, this little fat pocket that's formed underneath my eye. So for me, it's really important to go and now highlight around that pocket and I'm going to do so as you can see with a very fine angled brush because I want to be careful not to get concealer on the pocket itself. A lot of you may have pockets down here so it can be the same thing. You're not going to touch the pocket here but you're going to line right around it with your lighter concealer. So I'm going to go in. Here's the medium one custard. You can also use a powder foundation if you want, and that way you won't have to set it with any powder. Just make sure it's lighter than your normal skin tone. So my bag starts here, and I'm just going to start highlighting underneath it. And that dark ridge carries right here. And just tap it and pull it down. So I'm following around that pocket, going lower and around it. and under it here. So as you can see, I have not touched the bulging area itself. I have left that alone, but I've worked very finely around it, lifting the darker area to bring it up, to make it look like it's all one plane and one level. Since I don't have that fat pocket here, and sometimes I get a little puffy under the eye here, I will just take this, and if I look down, I can see a ridge that has formed right here. So I'm just going to take that concealer, and I'm only going to highlight that little ridge. and then anywhere else I have redness or discoloration out to the side. Sometimes you get a little bulge right here, so make sure you just go right underneath it. There's another little ridge right there. So we are just basically lifting the shadow. And as you can see, using very small amounts of product because we don't want to call attention to either the fat or the fluid retention that's going on under there. And that's, that's it. Now what you can do if you have a powder foundation, you're done. This is a cream base. So then I will use an under eye setting powder by Laura Mercier. It's called Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. So it also We'll add just a little bit of a brightness to it, along with a fan brush. And then ever so slightly, just add a little bit of powder to where I applied my concealer. But that's it. That's how you conceal dark circles and under eye bags without calling attention to them and creating a lift in the shadow and the darkness underneath.
super simple and easy. Again, it's all in the tools and all in the technique. I hope you found this helpful. I know it's been a big complaint. Any other complaints? <laughs> Hopefully not about me. Uh, anything you want to fix? Anything you want to see? Please leave it below in the comments section. I would be happy to help if I definitely have an answer to that complaint or question. Thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Miss Bright Eyes.